Buick is big on shedding the stodgy stereotype. Enclave, Lacrosse, and Regal are proof of that. Now with Verano, they're thinking small, but not too small, about the size of a Lexus IS. This is not the first time Buick has done a right-sized car. Remember Skyhawk and Skylark? Yeah, it has been a while. Considering the economy and gas prices these days, Verano's timing is perfect. Consider this, with exceptionally comfortable heated leather seats, Bose sound, iPod and phone integration, dual zone climate, and heated steering wheel, it retails for, any guesses? 27,175 bucks with destination. Most guess mid thirties and up. Verano has some spunk off the line. Zero to 60 happens in seven and a half seconds. In the handling department, uh, well, watch this. There's a surprising dollop of sport in the chassis tuning. Really? Murano only keeps two Buick stereotypes, and frankly, they're ones that you want. It's very quiet, so you can hear the Bose sound system better, and it's very comfortable. That's appreciated on pavement like this, which seems to be more common these days. I'll stress that Verano doesn't lean and roll in corners like a waterbed on wheels. There's understeer, but it's not excessive, and even though there's electric power steering, there's still a decent amount of road feel. Brake pedal feel, though, is on the soft side. Fuel economy is EPA rated at 21 city, 32 highway. That's courtesy of a 2.4 liter Ecotec four cylinder that makes 180 horsepower. The smooth transmission is a six speed with manual mode. The interior is very inviting with rich colors and very good materials, many of them soft touch. The parking brake is electric. There are lots of storage cubbies. There are sunroof and navigation options, just not on this car. Remember though, with OnStar, you can get audible directions with graphics just by talking to a friendly agent. At night, the ice blue lighting is very soothing and the accents are nicely done. A telling detail, the red and blue of the climate control is lighted, not just painted. GM has a new touchscreen interface. You can customize it and it's pretty straightforward. IntelliLink makes it easy to choose audio sources. It's also voice activated. Plug in a smartphone and you can use its data plan for Pandora and Stitcher. Looks like Evil Twin's got a lot to say today. Yes, I do. Proceed. First of all, the seats are very comfortable. They're also high, so your knees aren't up in your chin. Foot and legroom isn't generous, but for a smaller car, that's expected. It's very usable back here. Storage in both seats, side impact bags, more storage, power ports, even more storage, and a little added comfort. Keep it to two average sized adults back here and people will be happy. However, those with long legs might hit their shins on this hard plastic, and it doesn't feel good. As always, thank you very much. Dude, you need a haircut. You're telling me? Gripes, well, I like the proximity key that unlocks doors with the touch of a handle, but it doesn't work with the trunk lid. You have to dig the fob out and use a button. A backup camera is not available, though. There is a helpful warning. Vented seats up front and heated seats in the back are not available. Remember, Verano is not a large car, which makes me very curious about trunk size. It's nicely trimmed and gets a real spare tire. Size-wise, it's about average, uh, taking on six packs. Need more room? Verano can handle it. There's a chance for seven, but these hinge arms would do some damage to the cargo, and I've got to bring this stuff back. In the week that I drove it, people made it clear that they liked the look of Verano. Its lines are clean, uncluttered, and purposeful, except for the non-functional vent ports, but hey, it's a Buick, let's let them keep that stereotype. The waterfall grille is classic for the brand, and the back has the angry bird's face going on. It's a nice addition to the Buick family, which is looking pretty stylish these days. It's not like Verano is aimed at the Scion crowd, but it should draw buyers that are younger than ever. You have to experience it to appreciate the job the Buick folks have done. Quiet, comfortable, and affordable, Verano is a stereotypical overachiever. Car guys know Verano is based on the same architecture as Chevy Cruze, but really, they are two different cars. The Buick's engine is more powerful, the body and the interior are completely different. It's even quieter than the Cruze, which is pretty hushed. In short, the days of GM badge engineering are history. Talking to you, Cadillac Cimarron.
Back in the day when GM held 50% market share in the U.S., Buick was considered the doctor's car. In other words, if your doc drove a Cadillac, he charged too much. If he owned a Chevy or a Ford, it meant he wasn't very successful. The elegant Buick was just right. Verano seems to be aimed like a laser at that segment of the market. That is my opinion of the 2012 Buick Verano. Now, considering its size and price, there's not an awful lot of competition for this car. If you're looking for something quiet, comfortable, somewhat fuel efficient and affordable, I highly suggest a test drive. This car surprises a lot of people. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.